Welcome to my channel. Biden recently told a lie that just really got under my skin. Before I talk about that, I have to thank every single one of you that comes to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for listening to, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you for liking them, for commenting on them, and for sharing them. And thank you most of all to all the people that have subscribed to my channel. I'm, I'm astonished by the growth. I'm just amazed. It, it completely blows my mind. So there's been a controversy going on about a bill in the Senate, a supposed bill in the Senate. I'll explain why I said supposed in a minute. Uh, regarding the border. And the claim has been made that Trump is trying to kill the legislation so that he can pass it in his administration after he gets elected and take credit for it. And so now Biden, I suppose seeing this as an opportunity to seize the high ground, supposedly, has said this, referring to the Senate bill. What's been negotiated would, if passed into law, be the toughest and fairest set of reforms to secure the border we've ever had in our country. Right there, I don't believe a word he says. P Congress never passes legislation for the border that helps the country. They just don't. Quote, it will give me, as president, a new temporary authority to shut down the border when it becomes overwhelmed. And if given that authority, I would use it the day I sign the bill into law. What a flippin' pile of hogwash. The laws are in place right now for, Borton, for Biden to shut down the border anytime he wants. He just doesn't use them. And for him to sit here and say, oh, well, if you give me this emergency authority, I'll shut it down right now. You're lying through your teeth. You're not going to shut anything down. Your whole plan was to allow as many people as possible to come in. God only knows why, because it's not good for the country. <laughs> but you notice how he even hedges his language? It will give me, as president, a new emergency authority to shut down the border when it becomes overwhelmed. It's been overwhelmed for three freaking years. Three years it's been overwhelmed. What's your standard for overwhelmed, Biden? When there's no country left, is that what it is? Oh, it just... I hate it when politicians lie. I just hate it. It irritates the daylights out of me. So, <laughs> to give you an idea of what we're talking about, look at this. Senate, and of course, I'll put all these links in the description so you can read them for yourself. Senate leaders are pressing for a vote as soon as next week on the national security package. Quote, even though there is no deal or legislative text yet. So all we have at this point is smoke and mirrors. But Biden is convinced that if this smoke and mirrors gets turned into law, that he'll have the authority he needs to shut down the border right now. Oh, golly days. I'm telling you. It makes me want to scream. Now look at this. The country has been invaded. A group of ex-FBI officials warned Congress of new and imminent danger from the border crisis. Ten retired FBI directors and experts in counterintelligence. Now, the way that's worded, I don't know if that's ten FBI directors or it's one FBI director and nine intelligence experts. But anyway, it's ten people that used to work for the FBI warn Congress that the border crisis under President Joe Biden has allowed, quote, military-aged men from across the globe, unquote, to easily enter the United States. The ex-FBI officials declared that the U.S. is extraordinarily less safe and secure 
because of the invasion. Ten notable formal, former FBI officials wrote a letter to congressional leaders warning that the country is facing a new and imminent danger because of the flood of illegal immigrants across the southern border. As former senior executives of the Federal Bureau of Investigation and with deep experience combating dangers to the nation, we write to express our concern about a current specific threat that may be one of the most pernicious ever to menace the United States. They describe the threat as new and unfamiliar. In its modern history, the U.S. has never suffered an invasion of the homeland, and yet one is unfolding now. Military-aged men from across the globe, many from countries or regions not friendly to the United States, are landing in waves on our soil by the thousands, not by splashing ashore from a ship or parachuting from a plane, but rather by foot across a border that has been accurately advertised around the world as largely unprotected with ready access granted. Thank you, Joe Biden the man who claims he needs emergency authority to shut the border down right now. Like he couldn't have shut the border down any time he wanted to. He doesn't want to. He wants an open border. He wants to make us less safe. He wants to allow the fentanyl to, to flood in and kill people. Uh, the lies. The absolute lies, they're just so infuriating. In light of such a daunting, unprecedented penetration by uninvited foreign actors, it is reasonable to assert that the country possesses dramatically diminished national security at this time. The nation's military and laws and other natural protective barriers that have provided traditional security in the past have been thoroughly circumvented over the past three years. Now you think about this. China is sending people to America, middle, military-aged males. Iran is sending people to America, military-aged males. Korea, North Korea, Vietnam. They're coming from all over, folks. And they're here because we're allowing them to come in. The, the FBI notables even said that the surge is, <clears throat> quote, <clears throat> likely no accident or coincidence. These men are, pot are potential operators in what appears to be an accelerated and strategic penetration a soft invasion designed to gain internal access to a country that cannot be invaded militarily in order to inflict catastrophic damage if and when enemies deem it necessary. Now, you may not be aware of this, but I am, and I'm going to tell you it's a scary thing. Military men, our military, our army, our navy, our marines, our coast guard, our Air Force members, when they're on a base in the United States, are not allowed to have weapons. The weapons are locked up. You think about that for just a minute. How long would it take for someone to unlock those weapons when they're being attacked by a bunch of armed men with automatic weapons raging through the base, killing service members. I, I don't even want to think about it. it. It just... The people that run our country are idiots. They're absolute blooming idiots. Something has to change, folks, and it needs to change soon. It needs to change fast. If we don't fix this, and I don't even know how we could fix it because there's so many of them that are already here. <sighs> I 
If this doesn't terrify you, if this doesn't make you angry as spit, if this doesn't motivate you to get out there and vote for people who believe in our country and will protect our country, there's something wrong with you. The only thing I have to fall back on now is God. And I know God will protect me and he'll keep me safe from harm. And I pray that he does the same for you. Because dark times are ahead, folks. Dark, dark times are ahead. If we don't get this turned around quick, it's over. But I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray that you'll be abundant, that you'll live a long life, that you'll be healthy. I pray that God will keep you safe like he does me. I pray you'll do the same for every person you love because I know those people are important to you. And I pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the pissed off Vietnam era vet out. <laughs>